let's take up this use this quotient rule here derivative of x square log x that is y is equal to sorry is equal to x square log x so hence dy by dx is equal to x square into d by dx of log x plus log x into d by dx of x square. So this gives you x square derivative of log x is 1 by x plus log x into derivative of x square is 2x raised to 2 minus 1. This gets cancelled of course. So you get x plus 2x log x. You can take x as a common factor x into 1 plus 2 log x. So x into 1 plus 2 log x, that is this one. Hence we get this dy by dx is x into 1 plus 2 log x. Let's see what we have. Yes, it's true. <coughs> okay. Now here we have x is equal to y log xy, then dy by dx is equal to y. So, we can x is equal to y log xy. So, take derivatives on both sides. So, d by dx of x is equal to d by dx of this. So, that gives you y into d by dx of log xy plus log xy into d by dx of y. Now we can do one thing, we can write uh, this d by dx of x is 1, so give you y. This can be written as d by dx of log x plus log y. This is nothing but d by dx. We are using the rule of logarithm log of a into b is nothing but log a plus log b into d by dx of y which is dy by dx. So this now becomes d by dx of log x so it's y by x plus this y into derivative of log y is 1 by y into dy by dx this of course is this plus log x plus log y can be written as log xy into dy by dx so this if you take it to this side you get 1 minus y by x is equal to dy by dx into 1 plus log this will now become hence x minus y upon x into 1 plus log xy and this is dy by dx. So ultimately dy by dx is x minus y upon x into 1 plus log xy which is option number b. <coughs> so we are using the, the product rule over here. And wherever needed, since in the question you have log x plus log y or log xy, we have done it accordingly over here. Here we could have left it as log xy itself. So yes, we can have it that way. Okay. If xy into x minus y is 0, find dy by dx. So we can do it this way. So we can use the three product rules. So we can write xy into d by dx of x minus y plus x minus y into d by dx uh, x minus y into y of d by dx of x plus x into x minus y into d by dx of y. So hence now this will become x y into d by dx of x is 1 minus xy into dy by dx that is d by dx of y that is dy by dx into xy then y into x minus y d by dx of x is 1 plus x into x minus y into dy by dx 
So you collect all the dy by dx terms together. So if you get it, you get xy plus y into x minus y. You take these together plus dy by dx. <coughs> And this side, of course, is zero. So taking this d by dx, dy by dx into minus xy plus x into x minus y. So if you take it to this side, you can possibly take out y common, and you get x plus x two x minus y plus dy by dx is x common, and you get x minus 2y you get something like this so hence minus of y into 2x minus y upon x into x minus 2y could be dy by dx so x minus of y, y into 2x minus y so we have 2x minus y since we have a plus, maybe it could be to take it out minus outside. So we get dy by dx is equal to minus y into 2x minus y. And here you can take out minus common and you get minus x plus 2y, that is 2y minus x. So this gets cancelled. So ultimately it's y into 2x minus y upon x into 2y minus x. So it seems to be this option here. Do we have it right? Yes, we do have it right. Further ahead, you have f of x is a raised to x into x raised to a, find f dash x. So again, we use the product rule. So f dash x, which if you remember is the same as dy by dx, is a raised to x into d by dx. into d by dx of x raised to a plus x raised to a into d by dx of a raised to x. So this will give you a raised to x into x raised to a is the derivative of a into x raised to a minus 1 plus x raised to a into a raised to x into log a right now this can be now written as a raised to x into x raised to a into x raised to minus 1 into a plus a raised to x x raised to a log a so if you see we can take out since the, the whole thing is written in terms of f of x we can take out a raised to x x raised to a common x raised to minus 1, so this is a by x plus log a. So we are taking a raised to x into x raised to a, which is the same as f of x, into a raised to x plus log a. Hence among these, this one is the answer, f of x into a, a by x plus log a. Yes, we do have it. Okay, now here we have, we are, you are going to use the Cushion rule. So f of x is x square plus 1 upon x square minus 1, then f dash x is what? Alright, so f dash x, if you remember, we write it as denominator is square, x square minus 1, denominator x square minus 1 into derivative of numerator minus numerator that is x square plus 1 into derivative of denominator. So this gives you x square minus 1 into 2x. Derivative of x square plus 1 into 2x plus 1 minus x square plus 1 into this is square of course 2x upon x square minus 1 the whole square. So if you open the bracket you end up getting 
टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स माइनस टू एक्स क्यूब माइनस टू एक्स अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वन द होल स्क्वेर दिस टू फोर कैंसिल एंड ये लेफ्ट माइनस फोर एक्स अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वन द होल स्क्वेर सो इट्स माइनस फोर एक्स अपॉन एक्स स्क्वेर माइनस वन द होल स्क्वेर व्हिच इज दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन एंड वी गेट इट सो वंस अगेन एस आई टेल यू वी गोइंग टू कम अक्रॉस मेनी Slides, please keep your papers and pencils and work along with me and check whether the answers are tallying or no. All right? Yes, that's the right thing. Okay. So now we have go back to again the product rule. We can we can do it by that method, or we could possibly expand the uh, entire expression. So we get x squared minus x into x minus two, which turns out to be x cube. Minus two x square minus three x square plus two x. Therefore, divide by three x. If you use the original formula, you get three x square minus three into two x minus six x plus two. So it's three x square minus six x plus two. That is option. This option. Okay. Fine. Now we have divide by dx is equal to what? Now here this is slightly complicated, but nevertheless we'll do it. <coughs> so now we have here dy by dx is equal to <coughs> denominator the whole square numerator into d by dx of this. Which is going to be three e three x minus two e raised to two x. By now, I think we should do it. Derivative of e raised to three x is e raised to three x into derivative of three x, which is three. Derivative of e raised to two x is e raised to two x into d by dx of two x, that is two, minus numerator, that is. E raised to three x minus e raised to two x into d by dx of the denominator, which again is d by dx of e raised to three x, that is e raised to three x into the uh, derivative of three x, that is three. Similarly, two e raised to three x. Now we need to expand this e raised to three x into three e raised to three x is three e raised to three x the whole square e raised to 3x minus 2e raised to 3x is minus 2e raised to 3x plus 2x that is 5x e raised to 2x plus 3e raised to 3x is 3e raised to 2a 2x plus 3x 5x and this is minus 2 into e raised to 2x the whole square Similarly, here it's minus, so minus e raised to three x into minus e raised to three x minus three e raised to three x is minus three e raised to three x the whole square. Then this will give you minus two e raised to three x plus two x five x. Then minus e raised to two x into three e raised to three x is minus three e raised to 5x again, and this into this will give you. So it's going to be minus of minus. It will be plus, and then minus of minus into this. So it will give you 2 plus 2e raised to 2x the whole square upon e raised to 3x plus e raised to 2x the Whole square. <coughs> so here, this term and this term are getting cancelled, and again, this term and this term are getting cancelled. So ultimately, it's three minus two, and this three minus two. So it's eventually e raised to five x plus e raised to five x, two e raised to five x upon e raised to three x plus e raised to two x. The Whole square. 
So this is the answer. Let's check any of this. It's definitely not this, not this, nor is it this. There has to be a square in any case. So ultimately, it has to be none of these. So this is what we get if you solve this. Okay, none of these. 